I'm meteorologist Mark Mancuso, and on this day in weather history, May 31st, 1889, a great flood decimated Johnstown, Pennsylvania. It was the result of the catastrophic failure of the South Fork Dam situated 14 miles upstream of the town, made worse by several days of extremely heavy rainfall. On May 28th, a storm formed over Nebraska and Kansas and moved to the east. When the storm struck the Johnstown South Fork area two days later, it was the worst downpour that had ever been recorded in that part of the country. It was estimated that 6 to 10 inches of rain fell in the region within 24 hours. Despite efforts to relieve pressure and issue warnings to Johnstown, the dam burst, releasing 20 million tons of raging water. On its way downstream towards Johnstown, the crest picked up debris such as trees, houses, and animals. At Konama Viaduct, a 78-foot-high railroad bridge, the flood was temporarily blocked when debris jammed against the stone bridge's arch. But after seven minutes, the bridge collapsed and the flood resumed its course. Because of this, the force of the surge gained renewed impetus, resulting in a stronger force hitting Johnstown than otherwise expected. The surge traveled at 40 miles per hour and reached a height of 60 feet in some places. One witness on high ground near the town described the water as almost obscured by debris resembling a huge hill rolling over and over. Debris caught fire and an inferno ensued for three days. The mass debris, which covered 30 acres and reached 70 feet in height, took three months to remove because of the mass amounts of steel wire from the ironworks binding it. Dynamite was eventually used to clear it. It caused over $17 million in damage and killed 2,209, making the disaster the largest loss of civilian life in the U.S. at the time. I'm Mark Mancuso.